we're talking about reviving the economy here, uh, that of course would entail that the Philippine population has enough health safeguards as well to return to work and make a living without the risk of infection. That and other insights from business leaders and economic experts in this year's Business World Virtual Economic Forum in this report by Shaila Francisco. While the government claims the worst may be over for the Philippine economy, recovery from the COVID-19 pandemic may take longer than expected, at least according to some international financial institutions. Speaking in a two-day virtual forum hosted by Business World, the World Bank notes that full recovery is still hinged on people getting their jobs and income back. The Asian Development Bank agrees, saying pre-COVID economic growth won't take place until at least the year 2022. But this recovery is going to be fragile and slow as the pandemic affects consumer and business confidence the most. The ADB also notes that while remittances and trade are picking up, the tourism and the property sectors remain a problem. The multilateral bank says infrastructure spending is critical to aid economic recovery in the next one to two years but its multiplier effect on job creation. Business leaders also stress the vaccine rollout as a key to revitalizing consumer confidence. The next big wave will really come with vaccines, as you might expect. And so uh, the vaccines uh, and, and, and any success that we have on that front will be a, a far more relaxing component of, of how people look at the future if they realize that there is a solution to their potential health needs. The ADB is now in talks with the Philippine government regarding vaccine procurement. The Ayala Group, for its part, says it will continue to invest in the healthcare space. PLDT Smart, on the other hand, vows to continue improvements in customer connectivity to assist the health and education industries, as well as businesses shifting to e-commerce. We do have to develop the digital ecosystems um, that began connectivity to make it happen. Overall, the World Bank knows the country is well positioned in terms of recovery improved health policy, uh, uh, public health policies, continuously agile and sound fiscal and monetary policies, and a determination to implement structural reforms, the Philippines will remain well placed to bounce back. The World Bank also urged Philippines to capitalize on the services and e-commerce sector, calling them the future of global trade. Shaila Francisco, we are One News.